Hey guys, it's Milka. Welcome back to my channel, Nateom. Uh, today I decided to try something a little different. I wanted to do a tarot deck review. So this deck, I got it not too long ago. I am in love with it. It is so beautiful and I just felt like it needed to be given the light of day. Uh, it is the Linescape Tarot the Evolution Gold edition. They only made a thousand uh, prints of this of this edition and I have uh, the 730th copy. So this is a nice box. I'm gonna go through all of the cards. I'm not gonna lie, I already used the cards um, so I had to kind of reorganize everything back into the order that I remember it being. This deck is really unique because it actually does also have seven additional special cards, which is more than most other decks, especially, well, yeah, tarot decks. Um, usually they'll have like an extra one to three or maybe even five if you're lucky, but this one has seven. Um, the artwork is beautiful and I'm really excited to show you guys the cards. I'm just going to show you, I, I don't know if you can pick it up on camera, but the um, the etching, the great I don't know, the, the name of the deck is in this kind of a rose goldy shimmery light or writing. Um, you get that, it, well, it is made in Thailand. This is, uh, this is an indie deck. So we've got the addition, or not the addition, the, um, the copy number out of a thousand. You have a little bit of info here, the name again, and here is the back. But we all know the real good stuff is inside, so let's dive in. So I'm gonna set this to the side. There you go, okay. And even here, if you look at the inside, it's lined um, with this kind of print of Destiny, which I'm not sure if that's what they call their their uh, their business or their company. Yes, I'll set this to the side as well. Okay, so you start out with this little blank card. This is what the back looks like as well, by the way. Also, before we even dive into it, if you look at the gilding on the edges here. I'm not sure how well the camera can pick it up. The gilding is in gold. However, there are specks of hollow in the gilding. So this is one of the most unique edging uh, edges that I've seen in any deck that I have at least, or that I've seen others with. Okay. So yes, it comes with one of these uh, like filler cards on top. So I'm just going to put that in the back here. And again, you get the copy number. So 730 out of a thousand, the author, the uh, artist. And yes, so that's that evolution gold. And you can see it's the January 2023 edition. Okay. And also we get one of these filler cards in the back. So I'm just going to set both filler, card, uh, filler cards in the thing. All right. Now let's get into it. Okay, so this is the Fool card. It is beautiful, vibrant. Uh, you can see it's this deck is mainly based on backgrounds, right? So that's why it's called Lionscape Tarot. It's mainly backgrounds, and then you get little outlines to kind of help you see in like in gold um, the theme or add a little bit more to the image. But really, what you're getting is the vibe from the backgrounds that you're witnessing in the color scheme. So yes, I don't know if you can see the gold here. This is the Fool card. And I'll set these to the side over here, so in case you want to look at it longer. We've got the Magician. The High Priestess. This one is the Empress. It is also the cover art for this deck. We also have the Emperor. The Hierophant. The 
This is the Lovers. I love this Lovers card. At first when I saw it, I was like, really? But actually it makes a lot of sense. It's very dreamy, romantic, and it kind of, there's a bridge. I'm not sure if you can see the bridge here, but it almost makes me think of like two lovers meeting at the bridge um, in, in privacy and secrecy, you know? It's, it's very cute. Then we have the chariot. Strength. The hermit. When I saw the artwork for this deck, when I saw just a few cards, the hermit card was one of the cards that really made me want to get this card, uh, this particular deck. Then we've got the wheel of fortune. Then we have Justice. This is another beautiful scene. So I feel like some of these are actual locations. They do feel like they're based off of actual locations. And this is one of the first few cards where the artwork style is really prominent in my personal opinion. Like I would get a poster of this image if I could. Um, I just, I think that it's so, it's so beautiful. I love that the way that the artist chose to, this is the hangman by the way, I love the way that the artist chose to, um, it, it is cartoony, but it's not too soft, but it's not too sharp. I, I love the perfect, like, for me, it feels like softer than some very hyper-focused uh, drawings. So, I don't know, there's just, I can't even explain it, but I am in love with this deck. This is the death card, also another beautiful one. Temperance. And I am moving the cards around like this only because I want you guys to be able to pick up the gold. So I'm not sure how well the camera's picking it up, but this is the devil card. And I really like this devil card for a devil card because a lot of the times I do judge a deck or whether or not I want to purchase a deck based on the devil card. Very rarely will I kind of override this card. Uh, if it's too dark or if I feel like it's portraying a much um, gru more gruesome or darker version of the devil card energy, I tend to not like it. But I love this because I feel like it focuses on fears, insecurities. It makes you think of it in terms of more of a, a mental thing than... I mean, obviously you can interpret it in any way, but the first thing I saw, I was like, oh, you can see insecurities, fears, being caught in negative thoughts, um, places of judgment coming through in this. So I, I really like this card. And I love this too. This is the tower. The star. I'm going to be saying, oh, this is one of my favorite cards, probably a lot, because I just, I am in love with this artwork. The moon, look how beautiful. I would get, this is another one of the cards that I would have a poster of if I could. The sun. Judgment. This one is the world. This is cute because there's a little astronaut. So this is now the point where we're gonna be getting into the extra seven cards. What is really unique is that they have the full card again after the world, so it's almost like the next start. And this is another beautiful card. And the way that I interpreted this full card, at least personally, the way I see it, is um, the world marks the end of a journey and the full is the beginning. So it's almost like the next uh, like you went through one evolution and you're beginning in a higher state the next evolution you know so it's almost like the first full card is like the absolute ultimate first beginning and then this is like you have went through it once and now you're kind of taking the next step in that process another extra card we've got spring summer Autumn. Winter. Now 
meditation. And then the final extra card, we have happy squirrel. Actually, I realize this has a number 23, so this is meant to be part of the major arcana on some level. Um, but I thought this was very, a very interesting addition to, <laughs> to the deck. Uh, but yes, now we're getting into the uh, minor arcana. So we've got the Ace of Wands. Two of Wands, the Three of Wands, Four of Wands, this is another beautiful one, makes me think of upstate New York, uh, the Five of Wands, The Six of Wands, the Seven of Wands, another beautiful one, the Eight of Wands, Nine of Wands, Ten of Wands, The Page of Wands, the Knight of Wands, the Queen of Wands, I love this, the color scheme for this one as well, the King of Wands, now we've got the Ace of Cups, The Two of Cups. This is also beautiful, and it it is reminiscent of of the the Lovers card. But if I'm going to be honest, I feel almost as if like the Lovers card makes me think of. Um, I mean, I know that they're like cherry blossom and pe I think it's like peach blossom trees as well in uh i think i think it's peach blossom because i know cher the cherry blossom yes that one is well known and then i think it's peach blossom trees as well they can look similar i think uh at times don't quote me on that but this one this one you can definitely tell this is this is making this is very much giving off like japan vibe so it's like this is like mount fuji and um the, the sakura flowers, it's very beautiful. And the, the lover's card was making me think of, um, there's this, this drama called 100 Days My Prince, this Korean drama. And that's what it makes me think of a little bit, like meeting on the bridge, two lovers and then like flowers. So then we've got the Three of Cups, another beautiful one. Four of Cups. The Five of Cups. This is sweet because you can see almost like a little girl comforting this bear. This one, oh, if I could get a poster of this, I would be so happy. The Six of Cups. This is so beautiful to me. The Seven of Cups. The Eight of Cups. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, this one, maybe because of the slightly taller buildings and the cooler tones really makes me think of avatar the last airbender um when they were in the north uh in the northern water tribe and like zuko and the what, what was her name princess yue um because they had a scene that had to do with a bridge and this is really giving me those vibes <laughs> the nine of cups The Ten of Cups, Page of Cups, the Knight of Cups, 
This is interesting because you've got greenery as if you're in a forest. So you're assuming, or like, not a forest, but there's a lot of nature. So you're assuming whatever this is, is probably like a river or a pond or a lake. But there are dolphins here. So <laughs> very interesting. The Queen of Cups. The King of Cups. Ace of Swords. You know what the style is kind of making me think of? Like pop art, I think that's what it's called. Um, the Two of Swords. The Three of Swords. The Four of Swords. Five of Swords. Six of Swords. Seven of Swords. I'm sorry for all the background noise, you guys. It just got so loud. <laughs> the Eight of Swords. This one is interesting, too. Seven of... Uh, Nine of Swords, sorry. The Ten of Swords. Page of Swords. Knight of Swords. Queen of Swords, the King of Swords, oh this one is so gorgeous too, the Ace of Pentacles, the Two of Pentacles, <clears throat> Three of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles. This one is really interesting too. An interesting take on this card. Or not take, but depiction of it, I would say. The Five of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles. This is also beautiful. This statue, so, this is the part that makes me curious if, if the artwork is based on all real locations because you can see like certain locations um, that are like part of the Seven Wonders and stuff like that. So this is this is making me think of um, in, in Brazil, um, I'm forgetting what it's called, but that place in Brazil that has like a Jesus uh, statue. Seven of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles. It seems as though they've based these cards on real locations. Nine of Pentacles, another gorgeous one. The Ten of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, I love this one too. And this is a beautiful one too, the King of Pentacles. All right, and that was the, that was the walkthrough of the cards, you guys. I would love to hear from you in the comments. Did, did you, um, do you agree with me in regards to the artwork? Like, I, I'm not entirely sure how to properly uh, even explain it, but it does kind of give me the same, like, vibe as, as um, like, vintage pop art style. And I think maybe that's why, why I like it. Like, it's not hard art. The 
everything feels more smooth, more flush. Even though there are pointy edges and stuff, it still feels like such a smooth transition. It's like softer in that regard without being too soft. The colors are very beautiful and vivid. Um, yeah, I just, I love this deck. If you guys enjoyed this little walkthrough and if you'd like to see more, because I do have some unique decks, um, I'd appreciate if you gave this video a thumbs up and you commented something down below saying that you'd like to see more of stuff like this too. Um, and yeah, hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Sending you lots of love. Bye guys.